We begin with the part two, the writing part of the exam scheme. The 16th question is to verify trigonometric identities. We need to prove both the sides are equal by writing. Here we have been given secant theta minus tan theta equals one minus sine theta by cos theta. So what do we do? How do we start? So the, as a thumb rule, what I would suggest is whenever you have secant or tan other than sine and cos, try simplifying them. Use the reciprocal identities and other identities. But you can even do other way around without even simplifying this. You can try the right side. There are plenty of ways. But if you start simplifying the reciprocal identities, it will be much easier. Now secant theta we know is 1 by cos theta. So the reciprocal identity, if it is cosecant, CSC, that would be 1 by sine. Now what is sine? Oh, sorry, what is tan? We need to write in terms of sine and cosine. So it will be sine theta by cos theta. This is equal to the right hand side. That is fine. We will leave it as it is. There is no square or anything. If there was square, then it would have been easy to simplify, but there's nothing. But now when I simplified here, the left side in the denominator, I'm getting cos cosine and cosine. So I can easily try and substitute. I can simplify this to right side, right? Now let me take the common term, co cosine theta, because the denominators are same. We can write it together. It will be 1 minus sine theta. And that's it. That is equal to the right hand side. And we just derived it in two steps. That's it. This was a very simple problem. We will try solving some more complicated problem. By the way, if you just solve it, it's fine. And then you can write the original equation and say it is an identity. So it's just two steps. It's fine. And now let's try this one. Here we have uh, 1 plus tan theta divided by sine theta cosine theta equals secant theta. Now here, if you split secant theta on the right hand side, you will just get 1 by cosine. So what happens? You can't work with it. There's nothing much to work with the right side. So let's see the left side itself. I know there is tan and 1. So what if I split tan? Tan is sine theta by cosine theta divided by sine theta plus cos theta. That is equal to secant theta. We need to prove this. Now, the good thing is you know the left-hand side should be equal to right-hand side. No matter what, your end ultimate step must give you this. You can write 1 by cos, but let's leave it like this. So now when I split this tan and it's 1 plus tan, right? Now I know the denominator I can rearrange. See, cos is there. Over here it's 1. So what happens? Basically, you multiply up and down by cosine, right? So you can just multiply the denominator over here. To the left and right it will be cos theta by cos theta plus it's basically one itself it's fine you have not done anything wrong sine theta by cosine theta and the whole thing divided by there is sine theta plus cosine theta this is all equal to secant theta that is what we will have to prove now now there is cos and cos so the denominator can be written common it is cos theta what about the numerator we have cos theta plus sine theta. Or we can write it as sine theta plus cos theta. That's the same thing. And uh, this is one term. And below that, we still have sine theta plus cos theta. Now, you can, if you know, you can just cancel these off, isn't it? Because this is one fraction and this is below it. So the numerator and the below fraction, right, comes just to the denominator. So this basically, I'll just write over here itself. It'll be like this. Cos theta. I'll write sine theta first because now this is in terms of sine and cos. So we can write sine theta first plus cosine theta divided by, I will write this term which goes up. Uh, the cos theta is over here. Cos theta into sine theta plus cos theta. Now this cancels off and you're having only 1 by cosine theta that is equal to secant theta and the right hand side is also that is equal to RHS, the right hand side. So this is how we can prove it. 
It's just that we took tan and we tried simplifying and just try something experimenting. Now here I did not work with the sine and cosine because they are basic. So leave whenever you see sine and cosine, leave them. Whereas secant theta is something you can work with, but in this case, it's just a single term. You can't go much, you go far in this. So that's why I try to simplify tan and I got this up. We will see one more problem similar to this. So you can see this. This is the way it is solved and we got secant and secant. Now what about this one? Now when I look at this, I know for sure I'm going to simplify this. I'm not going to simplify the right hand. Okay, right hand side also can be simplified. You can do both the sides, but I'll just stick with the left side and try to get the right side. Or you can try simplifying both and meet at a common point. What is this? Secant is 1 by cos theta. Cosecant is 1 by sine theta. Okay, it's better I simplify this as well. Why? Because if I simplify these, I, I might get the sine and cos over here as well. So this is sine theta by cos theta. That is plus over here, what do we have? We have cos theta by sine theta, that is cotangent. Here left side, we have cosine theta into sine theta or sine into cos, it's fine. Now here we will take the LCM or I will do the step over here, multiply this denominator up and down here and this denominator up and down over here. So what happens is you will have sine theta into sine theta, wait, over here it's cos theta, right? See this term is multiplied by this opposite sides next plus, right? So the next term is denominated up and down to the numerator as well as the denominator. This is balanced, why? Because sine theta by sine theta is one. You're not doing anything wrong. You're just manipulating this equation. Plus cos theta by sine theta remains as it is, but you multiply the left side denominator up and down. So it is cos theta. In the last term, we have solved rational functions and this is where we had studied it. And now you have cos theta, sine theta, sine theta, cos theta. These denominators are the same. So I can write it as cos theta, sine theta. And what about the numerators? Over here it is sine square theta plus it is cos square theta. Here it's 1 by cos theta sine theta. Now we know from Pythagorean identity sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So left side and the right side will be equal now. Why? Because sine squared plus cos squared is 1. That's the Pythagorean identity. And we have cos theta by sine theta so both the sides are equal now if you take the left hand side you can't go much so over here in such cases you need to try the right hand side as well and we can easily solve it up and we reach at the conclusion now as this or even if you didn't want to solve you can solve it over here this is one by cos is basically secant theta one by sine is cosecant theta so this is how we can solve this one out please practice more problems the method is just the same you please do more and more problems you can see all the written methods are there you can find this presentation in the link below in the description you can see the link please click on that link and you can find this presentation as well so this is it all the methods are done over here i will just go through each of the solutions slide you can pause the video at each of the solution and go through it by yourselves this seems a bit complicated i'll just Tell you what is happening over here the right hand side is left as it is but over here left hand side cosecant what is cosecant it's one by sine minus cotangent is cos by sine now here you can see the denominators are same you can write sine theta up will be one minus cos theta now cos theta square the numerator and denominator you can split the square right to the numerator denominator here now what exactly is one minus cos theta the whole square don't go to use the a, a minus b the whole square formula. It's just that if you have a minus b the whole square, you can also write it as a minus b, a minus b two times, right? That's what is done over here. 1 minus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta, divide by sine square theta. And now what you can see is we know from Pythagorean identity 1 is sine square theta plus cos square theta, isn't it? Now what you can do is just take this... Uh, sine sorry take this cos to the other side it is 1 minus cos square theta is 
sine square theta. Always remember that. If you have just cos square theta, remember it is 1 minus sine square theta. Now, here, this is 1 minus cos square theta. What, what we can do is we can write 1 as 1 square. Don't you agree? Because 1 square is 1 itself. And we have cos square theta. This is like a square minus b square. What is the identity? It's a plus b, a minus b. So here we write 1 plus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta. If you use the FOIL method and multiply this, you're going to get the left side only. So here then we split it out. See, 1 plus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta. And this can cancel off because they're same. You're remaining with left hand side and right hand side which are equal. That's how we solved it. All these problems are pretty simple. Once you know the identities, the formulas, just try substituting them and solving them up. Please go through them by yourselves. Try writing this out, solving them by yourselves. If you're stuck, don't worry. You can see the solutions. But as you practice more and more problems, you will be thorough with these. And this is the last problem here. But please do practice more problems. If you have any doubts or any questions, please post them in the comments and I will get back to you very soon.